This tutorial explains how to return diagnostic messages using the message, warning and stop functions in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you several examples and in the first example I'm using the message function to return a simple message to the RStudio console. And we can do that as you can see in line 2 of the code. So in this line of code I'm applying the message function to a character string and this character string has the message this is a message. So if you run line 2 of the code you can see at the bottom that a new message has been returned which is this is a message and you can see that this message is shown in red. If we want to return a warning message instead of a simple message we can apply the warning function as you can see in line 4 of the code and within the warning function we also need to specify a character string so in this case we are specifying the character string this is a warning message. So if you run line 4 of the code you can see that our message this is a warning message has been returned however this time we have used the prefix warning message. So these kind of diagnostic messages are usually useful in user-defined functions or for loops and in the next example I want to show you how to embed such a message in a for loop. However this time I'm using the stop function instead of the message or warning function. So in lines 6 to 15 of the code I'm creating a for loop and I'm telling in this for loop that I want to run a loop from the first element to the 10th element of a sequence from 1 to 10 and then I'm specifying a nested if condition that if the value i is unequal to 5 then a message should be returned to the bottom in the RStudio console and for this I'm using the print function and the paste function and if the value is equal to 5 then the stop argument should be used and this stop argument should contain the error message I was equal to 5. So if you run lines 6 to 15 of the code you can see that several lines of output have been created at the bottom in the RStudio console and as you can see in the first four runs of our for loop the sentence finished loop iteration number 1, 2, 3 and 4 has been returned. However, once our index was equal to 5, the error message i was equal to 5 has been returned and the for loop was stopped. So the reason why the for loop was stopped is because we have used the stop function. So if we would use the message or warning function instead, only the message would be returned but the for loop would not have been stopped. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.